Mercedes, huge surprise for Austrian Grand Prix. So we're going to be going through that and three other stories in today's video. So make sure to like this video. And if you want more Mercedes news content like this, make sure to subscribe to the channel by hitting that red button down below. The first story is Mercedes Surprise F1 with a huge upgrade for the Austrian Grand Prix. It certainly hasn't been a dreamy start for Mercedes to the 2023 Formula One season, despite igniting high hopes ahead of the preseason testing. To rub salt in their wound, the Brackley outfit hasn't only lost their throne to Red Bull, but is also on the cusp of falling further down the order amid Aston Martin's shocking turnaround. The recently concluded Canadian Grand Prix is one of the biggest instances to prove that. Lewis Hamilton was struggling to match his arch-rival Fernando Alonso's pace, despite the latter coping with significant braking issues. Hence, the uncertainty in the future of Mercedes is starting to ring in the fans' ears. Many are beginning to wonder if the Silver Arrows can ever make a comeback as the leading championship contender. Well, Mercedes F1 team principal, Toto Wolff, thinks so. The Austrian billionaire made a major revelation following the weekend in Montreal, which might just aid Mercedes in challenging the unstoppable Red Bull racing. Wolf revealed Mercedes' big plans ahead of the summer break. The W14 will be receiving two major upgrades, one each for Austrian Grand Prix and British Grand Prix. We still have two in the next races, a big one in Silverstone, the other before the summer break, the Austrian said. While a majority of the fans are happy to hear this news, a small part of the Mercedes fandom is seemingly unfazed by Wolf's comments. There was a massive buzz for Mercedes' previous upgrades which rolled in at the Monaco Grand Prix. However, neither Hamilton nor his teammate, George Russell, were able to clinch a podium on Sunday, evidently demonstrating the lack of progress. Indeed, the pair brought the positivity back into the team over the succeeding race weekend in Barcelona. But yet again, a rather disappointing show in Canada, and the overall lack of consistency is stopping the fans from getting their hopes high. Lewis Hamilton finished a strong third in Sunday's race in Montreal. He pushed Fernando Alonso hard for second, who wasn't too far behind race winner Max Verstappen. It's been an impressive upturn in form for Mercedes, who seemed to be performing better since their upgrade package was introduced in Monaco. Hamilton has finished on the podium in the last two races, reducing the deficit to Red Bull. Wolf has already revealed that Mercedes will introduce two more upgrades at Silverstone and then either Hungary or Belgium next month. Speaking after the race in Canada, he said, The update works. That was the track where we were most worried that the car was not fast. At the beginning of the year, we would have been driven into the ground on such a track. We are there, perhaps a tenth slower than Alonso, who brought a mega update, and not so far away from Max, another huge step forward. While Mercedes are on a good trajectory, Wolf conceded that there's quite the gap to catch up to Red Bull. For us, we didn't expect to perform in Canada because of the car's DNA at the moment, so it's encouraging to be not so far away, Wolf stated. But one must not forget Max is still having an easier time in the front, not cruising, but still I think there is margin. So there's quite the gap to catch up. Lewis Hamilton has revealed he doesn't feel a huge difference to the beginning of the year when driving the Mercedes W14 despite its improved form in recent F1 races. Hamilton scored his second consecutive podium finish of the year in Sunday's Canadian Grand Prix, finishing third behind Max Verstappen and Fernando Alonso. Since Mercedes introduced their upgrade package at Imola, Hamilton hasn't failed to finish outside the top four. Interestingly, he's also had a comfortable edge over Mercedes teammate George Russell. Speaking after the race in Canada, Hamilton was asked how the W14 felt now it had been heavily upgraded. He replied, In truth, it doesn't feel a huge difference to the beginning of the year. There are some elements of the car which do feel different, and obviously with the upgrade, but it's just simply just have a little bit more downforce on the car. But the characteristics of the car are very, very similar to what we had earlier on in the year, and so we need to, for the future, for next year's car, you need to take a lot of these different things off and change them for sure. Hamilton doesn't think that the inherent handling characteristics of the W14 are good enough to be able to beat Red Bull, particularly with how the car handles the curbs. It's definitely not the car that, characteristic-wise, the car that's going to be able to beat the Red Bull just yet, he added. And so we've got to work on that. For example, it was very bumpy, this track. And I think everyone was struggling, but our car was very stiff. But I think we were all struggling with the stiffness of our cars.
The second story is Mercedes and Red Bull feud over the F1 season so far. Red Bull advisor Helmut Marko has mocked Toto Wolff for failing to snap up Max Verstappen despite witnessing his obvious potential as a youngster in junior formulas. Verstappen is widely considered to be the standout driver of his generation after toppling Lewis Hamilton at the top of the Formula One pecking order and winning two drivers' championship titles in as many seasons. The Dutchman is also the finest graduate from Red Bull's young driver program in recent memory, with his big break coming at Toro Rosso in 2015 before joining the senior team a year later. He was initially eyed by Mercedes, who noticed his clear potential as a young driver, although the Silver Arrows failed to snap him up before he eventually signed with Red Bull after being sounded out by Marco. The 80-year-old has since poked fun at Wolf by questioning why Mercedes chose not to swoop for Verstappen when they had the chance, telling Dutch newspaper Algemeen Dagblad, his talent would not have been visible enough in Formula 3, but then I don't know what exactly Toto has been looking at. Because when I saw Max busy for a while at the Norris ring, it was already completely clear to me that he had something special. It seems clear that Mercedes's loss was Red Bull's gain, with their decision to land Verstappen having been repaid multiple times over, given his achievements since joining the F1 grid eight years ago. Wolf recently explained that while he did notice Verstappen's ability as a young driver, he was unable to sign him due to the Silver Arrows being fully committed to keeping Nico Rosberg and then Valtteri Bottas from 2017 onwards. Do I regret missing out on Max? Certainly, Wolf told ESPN earlier this year, but it wasn't an option back in the day. We had two drivers that I was extremely happy with in Nico and Lewis Hamilton, and when Nico left at the end of 2016, Valtteri Bottas was then the option, and Max wasn't even available. Wolf went on to point out that Verstappen would not have been guaranteed to succeed at Mercedes in the same way he has done at Red Bull, with the presence of Hamilton on the other side of the garage being a daunting prospect for any driver, let alone a fresh-faced teenager with no previous experience in F1. Would Max and Lewis have functioned? Maybe not, added Wolf. Lewis is a Mercedes guy since forever, so that hard question I never needed to ask myself for the organization. Everything happens for a reason. I had two drivers in the seats, no deal with a junior team, so it was clear that the option with Toro Rosso was what they needed to do and they did well. After that, we always had friendly contact but never discussing driving. The third story is Lewis Hamilton tells Mercedes to abandon 2023 season. Lewis Hamilton believes it is time for the Mercedes team to divert some of its attention towards constructing their 2024 Formula One car. Throughout the season, the Silver Arrows have struggled to match the pace of their rivals, Red Bull despite recent upgrades that have shown some progress. Former world champion Damon Hill has expressed skepticism about Mercedes' ability to catch up with the frontrunners. In fact, Hill recently suggested that Hamilton's team should intentionally perform poorly in order to enhance their chances of competing with Red Bull in the future. While Hamilton did not go as far as endorsing Hill's suggestion, he concurred that the team needs to shift its focus towards the future. Following his third-place finish at the Canadian Grand Prix, the British driver called for Mercedes to increase their development efforts on next year's car. Hamilton acknowledged that the remainder of the season will be a battle of development. He also speculated that Red Bull's team is likely already working on their car for next year, emphasizing the need for Mercedes to balance their priorities and focus on the upcoming season. However, he expressed satisfaction with his current performance, stating, I'm happy to be up there. Hamilton's assessment of Red Bull's approach was validated by team principal Christian Horner, who admitted that the team's focus is shifting towards next year. Horner emphasized the challenge of finding a balance between developing this year's car and preparing for the future, particularly due to the limited wind tunnel time. Despite this, he emphasized that the stable regulations allow the team to carry over the lessons learned this year to their car for the following season. While some developments will continue to be implemented on the current car, much of the focus at the factory is already directed towards next year's vehicle. However, Sky Sports pit lane reporter Ted Kravitz raised a point regarding the impact of the cost cap penalty currently faced by Red Bull. Kravitz questioned whether the penalty has truly hindered the team, considering that they already possess a competitive car for this year. With the ability to allocate resources towards next year's car, even considering the penalty, Red Bull's advantage may render the penalty insignificant in the grand scheme of things. Seven-time Formula One champion Lewis Hamilton says he's come to terms with the possibility of not winning a race this season. 
The Red Bull car is just too good. Red Bull is a perfect 8 for 8 this year after Max Verstappen won the Canadian Grand Prix on Sunday, with the Dutch driver landing atop the podium six times and teammate Sergio Perez twice. It's not a frustration anymore if it ever was. It's how it is, said Hamilton, a Mercedes driver. You know what you're faced with, and there's nothing I can do about their amazing performance. It's likely that they will win every race moving forward this year, unless, Aston Martin, and we put a lot more performance on the cars, or their car doesn't finish. With 14 races still left on the calendar, the Formula One championships are virtually a foregone conclusion. Red Bull is nearly doubling second-place Mercedes in the constructors' standings with 321 points to 167, and Verstappen leads his teammate by 69 points on the driver's side. 